Hi everyone, Darren Karp here and welcome, coming to you, well, welcome to BravoCon 2023. Can I get it for BravoCon 2023? I'm coming from you from a live stage at BravoCon 2023 where we're bringing you, ooh, there we go, my voice is amped. I feel very Jersey here. You can watch all the excitement of BravoCon all weekend long on Peacock, BravoTV.com, and Bravo Socials. But today I am so excited for this live stage performance. First off, these are the sexiest looking women in Bravo that I have ever seen in my life. I think they're pretty excited to share, to share the next 30 minutes with us with no kids, no diapers, no one spitting in your face, right-ish? Then again, you haven't met me, we'll see how that goes. Please welcome some of Bravo's strongest, fiercest mama bears. We've got Ashley Darby from The Real Housewives of Potomac. From Below Deck, beloved Bravo commentator, Kate Chastain. We have Madison LaCroix from Southern Charm. Rachel Fudo from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Can't say it any other way, babe, I'm sorry. We've got Whitney Rose from The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And last but certainly not least, from my home state, we got Jackie Goldschneider from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. All right, ladies, you look, I mean, if this is what motherhood is like, I'm about to have sex tuplets up in here. I am ready to pop. Not sex tuplets. Not sex tuplets, Ashley Darby. <laughs> All right, so everyone, how's been the second day of BravoCon going? Madison, what's the energy like in this room? What are you feeling? I love it. This is the best yet. It's high energy. I love it. And uh, Rachel, first time, My first time at BravoCon. What, it, what biggest surprises so far? Who are you excited to meet? What's been going on for you here? Honestly, it's so nice to see like the positivity from the fans and the fan engagement. It's that's what this weekend is really all about, and I'm that is so much fun to me. I love it. I love it, Whitney. How's everything going? This is this is not your first rodeo here. This ain't your first rodeo. Not my first rodeo, and I know you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, she knows me. She knows me. Now I gotta ask: Do you guys watch the other Bravo shows? All of them? Ashley, stop staring me down, girl. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm Damn, thinking while Ashley, looking at you. Like, I watch a few of them. Listen, it's hard when you have kids. Like I yeah. watched one episode, and I'm like, oh crap! Like now I'm four behind. Well, forget it now. I'm just going to look on social media and get caught up. Right. Which one's your favorite that you've watched? All of you. I'm going to ask you all of this. Mine is Below Deck. Uh, oh! I love Below Deck. I've been a hardcore fan forever. Now, are we talking med? Are we talking yeah. adventure? Are we talking sailing out? Are we talking regular? I like med. Uh, oh, you like Captain Sandy. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, I'm a, yes. I'm a Captain fan. I have a fondness yeah. for med. Even though I love Kate Chastain, I got a fondness for med, of course. I like Mediterranean as well. Yeah, oh, I love that. I love that. Jackie, what's your favorite show on Bravo? Uh, right now, I'm loving Salt Lake City because I think Mary Cosby is the funniest person that I've ever seen. Do you want Mary Cosby to shade your outfit or do you want to like befriend Mary Cosby so no, she no, never no, shades your outfit? No, no, I would like outfit? for her to shame me. I think that she's very funny. Whitney, does it feel good to be shamed by Mary Cosby? No, not at all. <laughs> she's think, so funny. She's great TV. It's scary, though. I'm scared. It's so scary. You just laugh at it. Right. I want her to She'll yell at me. She'll tear you down with one comment like, oh, that was your choice today, and I've never felt more seen and unseen in my whole life. When was the last time you all were in Vegas? Gamblers? Anyone? I was here a couple weeks ago for my birthday. Oh. What did you do? Do. I don't remember. <laughs> no, we went to, where did we go? My husband's, I'm, I saw Chainsmokers, I saw wow. Wayne. I went to a bunch of music. I love music. A any of you gamblers on the stage? No gamblers. Mad Madison silently oh, yeah. nods. Really? What's your game of choice? Well, I'm blackjack, but have luck with roulette. Oh, I, see, I'm a roulette girl. Like, 25 bucks on red, that's kind of my game. If I lose well, it, then I'm out. I spent the guys on my show their money, and they said, oh, I had a rough year. I was like, you didn't financially, so give me the $100, yeah. <laughs> and it's going on 17 And so I lost 400 of their doll hairs. That's the only way to do it, spend I mean, somebody else's money. Yeah, I don't mind spending other people's money. Yeah, right, right. a lot easier. I mean, right, exactly. I mean, why not? Kate Chastain, not a gambler? Oh, yeah, I made $1,000 my first night here. First round on you. What did you lose your second night here? Uh, I did not gamble, but I'm going back tonight. I'm okay, yeah, she's feeling tonight. lucky. She's totally feeling lucky. Oh, what? 
the audience is asking where, I feel like they want to maybe give Kate and testing play money. To with. Yes, there are casinos everywhere. Blackjack table, I'm with you. Okay. But I am going to spend somebody else's money this time. That's genius. All right, I got a question for all of you. I know you guys get asked this, but BravoCon, things change on a dime. You meet new people, you vibe with people you didn't think you would vibe with. Ashley, I'm going to start with you. If you could be in any other Bravo show, it doesn't have to be Housewives, what would you drop yourself into? Um, I don't would... be saying Winter House. Don't be saying okay, that. Okay, Darren. Yeah, don't be saying Winter okay, House. Okay, Darren. Don't be doing that, Ashley. <laughs> She's like, Winter House. No. <laughs> I mean, I do like the snow. Yeah. I would say uh, Southern Charm. Yeah. I love Woo! Southern Charm. I'm a fan. Would I'm she a fan. fit in, Madison? You. Would she fit in? She'd get along Are well. Are you kidding? Yeah, come I on, love you, Madison. I need some spice in my life. Yeah. I'm getting bored out here. Yeah, and Vanita. I love Vanita. I yes. would love that. Yeah. Kate? Uh, I would love to do Real Houses of Miami for convenience, and I love Marisol. It's around the corner from Fort Lauderdale. It's vibrant. It's so good. That's what I would do. Jackie Goldschneider? I am a big fan of the new Roni, so I would drop into that. Who do you think you'd vibe with the best on Roni? I love Erin, so. Oh, Aaron. yeah, she would be your girl. Rachel Fuda, where are you going? I, knew, I know you're a Jersey girl, so you don't want to leave, but if you had to. No, but like maybe Beverly Hills, just because I've never been to California. Can we stop? Everyone's in my ear is like, what? Like, can we just, you've never been to California? No, I've been to Europe and we've traveled and I've just never made it to Cali. Okay, everyone is equally as shocked by this at Re, right? It's not, okay. We're gonna have to get you there We're at so some point. so close right now. I know. You should just go there after this. I kind of want to. I yeah, heard it's only like it's a 45 a minute 40 flight. 40 minute flight. All right, it. Beverly Hills is a good choice then. You'd, you'd maybe fit right in. I don't right? even know. Or Orange County. I mean, either one, I'm good. Oh my God, Whitney? That's hard. I want to be a forever charter guest on Below Deck. I just want to live on the yacht. Or Million Fair. Dollar Listing. I've always been a huge fan of Million Dollar Listing. Which coast, though? Uh, New York. You know, okay, you yeah. like the New York real estate uh, more. Madison, where are you dropping yourself into here? I have two places. Salt Lake. I would love Salt Lake. Yeah. But then Join also kind of New York. You like the new Roni. I do. I love it. Who do you think you'd vibe with? Bryn. Bryn. I knew it. I knew it. it, it 1,000%. You guys just get along. Um, what, outside of you guys on the stage, what other brother, Bravo moms have you met at BravoCon? Have you guys bonded over having children, having children on air? Like, do you guys talk about if your kids are going to watch the shows? Like, tell me, who else is you met? Vanderpump. We got, we Those are a, my kind of moms, other than these girls, of course. But, yeah. I love them. Oh, I love are you amazing. asking who we talked to? Yeah. What other moms? I spoke to Gina from Real Housewives of Orange County, and I love her. I even love her, too. She's, like, so easy, down to earth. We talked about our kids and, like, the struggles of balancing everything that goes on when we're filming. It's very challenging. I was going to say, Rachel, I know you want Beverly Hills. I could kind of see you in Orange County. I love it. I'll do it. Like, you and Gina Kirschenheider would really... Uh, there's really... a move. There's a move there in the future. There is a move there, and it's beautiful. Can I say one thing? Of course. Notice how no one here said they wanted to be on the cast of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. I don't understand. Not one They're person. They're so gentle with each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. Nice. Yeah, why? I mean, like Jersey girls, they get a bad rap. We're you know so kind. I mean? Yeah, great. We'll shiv you in the bathroom. No big deal. Really why not? Care for each other and take care of each other. Yeah, no, it's a family. I love you, Jackie. I prefer to be their friends in this setting. Like getting glam together is fun. Yeah. I don't want to be on a show with all of you though. <laughs> However, my husband would fit in with the men. Yes. 100%. Oh my gosh. Hundred percent. Everyone there agrees. Is. Like Fuda, they're already best. I mean, would he would Justin wax his chest in a weird pattern? Like Fuda he's gonna, did. Have he's no gonna choice. hate me, but I've made him get waxed before. <laughs> and you survived? Fact, I've tried it myself. You're still married, so yeah, so there's gotta be there's gotta be something. 